Hello Tibians and glad you're passing by. It's probably one of the most wanted hunting spots in Tibia these days and with good reason. Welcome to Where Alliance in Derasha. I'm going to be straight honest with you. Because of the popularity, I haven't tested this spawn with either my druid or knight. Ever. As usual I'll be talking about the monsters, the hunting route, experience and profit after 30 minutes of hunt and so on. If you want me to do a video about the lowest floor of this hunting spot, let me know in the comments. You do have to complete a huge part of Grimvale quest in order to hunt here. It's going to take you an hour or two, but in the end it's totally worth it. In this place we will meet a nice family. The were lion and his wife, together with their pet, the white lion. All jokes aside, you shouldn't underestimate them. They mainly do a huge chunk of holy and fire damage, so we have to protect ourselves and combine our equipment with fire and holy protection. I went with the falcon circlet as helmet, firemind raiment as armor, soulful legs as legs and nightmare boots. Umbral master spellbook and falcon rod as shield and weapon. Alright, you can alter a bit with this set. For starters, you can swap falcon rod for cobra rod so you got standard life leech, for sorcerers that would be the lion wand. Sorcerers also got the option to hunt here with falcon wand that gives fire protection. Or choose a complete different weapon, probably the best one. The deepling fort that gives extra crit, gives 8% holy protection and imbuable with 2 slots. The fort can be used by both druid and sorcerer by the way. You can change nightmare boots to magma boots if you need extra fire protection, but comes with the cost of 1 lost magic level. A sorcerer can go for makeshift boots that gives fire protection and keep the magic level bonus. My favorite shield is the Umbral Spellbook, because of the standard fire protection and the ability to imbue it with holy in case I would need it. This guideline excludes the sole equipment, as it is in most cases the best equipment to wear. For accessory, wear a rainbow necklace and a lit torch. You do not want to wear a sun catcher since you are overall well protected against fire already, and fire isn't the main damage source here. As for ring slot, there's no viable option other than blister ring which again gives fire protection. So I would skip that and wear something like a life ring instead. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, let's take a closer look to the experience and profit part. The experience is good, with an average of 3.5 kk experience per hour it's a nice bonus to the main goal that brings us here. After 30 minutes of hunt, which some refills in between, I had around 300k profits. I'm sure if I did prepared my hunt better, I would have gotten more profits. Even though the hunting area is not far from the city and depot, you really want to imbue your backpack. Even I had my backpack imbued and had to run back every 10 minutes or so. For this hunt I didn't had any preys active, and since it was the first time coming here with my druid, I couldn't activate any charm on them. But really any prey would work out here, but my favorite would be the loot prey since coming to this place to make profits is the main goal. As for charms, the kills per hour between were lion and were lioness is somewhat close. If I would complete the charms, I'd definitely put freeze on were lioness and either wound, holy or zap on the were lions. It's not worth putting any prey or charm on the white lion. The supplies you should carry with you. Well, I usually would say, take enough with you for at least a 30 minute hunt, but in this case the capacity will force you back to depot. So I had around 100 up to 150 ultimate mana potions with me and 800 avalanche runes. That should definitely be enough until you run out of caps. The route I took was pretty much straightforwarded. You can skip out the southwest area, where I've drawn a black circle, but definitely skip the northwest part because it's narrow there and not enough monsters in the area to create a decent pull. So as a result you will miss out on experience and profit per hour. To complete this place, you would need around 20 hours. The charms for white lion is included in the timer. You will complete the lions relatively fast, after 6 hours. I am wearing the usual imbuements which is 2 times mana and 1 critical. As I mentioned before, I also imbued my backpack, which will drastically increase your hunting sessions. Even though it's an extra cost, don't even worry about the money as you will get that back in no time. Okay I think I've said everything I needed to say. If you still have questions, feel free to ask them. If you like the video, hit the like button and show your support with hitting the subscribe button. Enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.